Hey, welcome to day three. We are going to have some coffee and then I'm going to show you guys some of our Christmas decor that is already up. Uh, let you know how much I spent this year on Christmas decor and cook some fried chicken. Okay, so far in the living room, we got a snowflake and a light up Santa in the window. We have some cut out bells above the doorways. All of that is from the dollar store. And I've had them for years. I just put them in different places depending on what I'm doing. Here's the tree. We still have to decorate it. Table with some of the decorations. Candy jars need to be filled. I usually fill those with Dollar Tree candy. We have some nutcrackers, candles, stuff my grandma made for me that I pull out every year. I keep a lot of my decorations in these tins. My grandma did that and now I do it. Uh, they hold quite a bit of Christmas decorations. Little snowmen from my childhood home. Or I guess they're gingerbread men, but yeah, the tree. Just waiting for the kids' schedules to align so we can decorate it. And I have the same tree every year. It's a box tree. Take it up, put it down. More decorations. I did spend money, I do spend money every year on candy canes, but everything else I've had forever. <laughs> the mantle, pretty basic lights from Walmart, and I like to keep some things out that my youngest can play with, like the stuffies and little tchotchke things on the tabletops. But yeah. So I think this year I've spent a total of like $10. Also the Christmas movies, pulled them to the front. I like to watch Christmas movies. All right, so for the fried chicken, we're gonna use flour, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, turmeric and paprika and salt and pepper. I'm gonna start with a bowl. You're going to add the flour. And then you're gonna add a little bit of each of the spices.
Then you're gonna mix all of that together. And after your egg wash, you will dip your chunks of chicken into this before it goes into the frying pan. I do this with thawed chicken breasts. Um, it cooks better that way. And I just cut the chunks about hand size. So you, people can just grab it. Um, it's not a lot to it. It's pretty simple and easy. So I use vegetable oil, there is tons of other oils that you can use if that's what you prefer. Uh, this is just what I use. I fill the bottom of the pan with the oil. I did not grab the camera to show you, but yeah, the bottom of the pan's full, light that up, let the oil get hot, and then take your chicken from the egg wash to the flour mix and right into the pan.
and then you just let it fry until the tops look like they're golden brown and not as powdery. Um, I think the four or five chicken breasts that I did filled two pans, which is great. That means there's gonna be leftovers, which I love. For some reason, this chicken always tastes so, so much better, like the day after. I don't know if it's just me, but I love it. And this was my grandma's recipe and I love making it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a piece and see how it looks on the bottom. Nice and golden brown, so yummy. So I think we're good. Now I do take a paper towel and line a Tupperware container and then put the chicken in that to kind of let the excess oil, you know, drain off of it. But yeah, so, so easy, so yummy. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. If you like this kind of content and you like hanging out with me, go ahead and like and subscribe.